Okay. <clears throat> Dear colleagues at home and abroad, good morning or good evening. Uh, today, my copy is bad tools make good for good work. Uh, Microvibration for complex liver cure tumor. First of all, a brief introduction to be relevant to the situation of tumor ablation. <clears throat> now, at first, in 1993, Professor Rossi from Italy uh, successfully performed the first radiofrequency ablation of liver cancer, which used in a new era of local ablation of tumor. At the end of the 20th century, radio ablation and cryoablation are the main street technologies of, for tumor treatment, especially radio frequency ablation. In the 21st century, microwave ablation has rapidly become the third main street uh, ablation technology and uh, had a good uh, a great potential to pass RF ablation. After about uh, 30 years of continuous development and improvement, local ablation technology had been recognized as the second tumor curative technique technology after surgical resection and widely used to treat tumors from many organs. Sorry. Such as the lung tumor, cellular tumor, lung tumor, enteral tumor, and kidney tumor, and so on. <clears throat> Up to now, uh, uh, however, there are new adults that the ablation system of the liver tumor is the most perfect. Um, most mature and representative technique. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> at present, no match, no match, BCLC standard or other guidelines or consensus, the indication of ablation of liver tumor are limited to the following gold standard. That means tumor size what is less than five centimeters and the tumor number is less, less than three and the tumor site must be uh, less than five millimeters away from important organs around. For a doctor, uh, single, for these single lessons, the doctor can be qualified by primary, primary training and by single in imaging guided pecunious ablation. But the indication of the local ablation of the liver tumor is too limited, I think. According to the classic indications, the proportion of patients suitable for ablation is relatively low. So it's a serious limit to the wide application of ablation technology. The challenge, the challenge we, we face in the future is to how to release the maxi, maxim, maximum value and the potential of ablation. The target is to count the complex liver tumor. What's the complex liver tumor? That means tumor size with more than five centimeters and the tumor number was more than four, and the tumor side close or less than five millimeters away from important organs around. For com complex liver tumors, the doctor must be uh, accepted the strict, strict training and uh, uh, combined with a variety of external remains or other local therapies to successful to treat uh, uh, patient. <clears throat> so what's the difficult of complex liver tumor? And what are the special risks? 
the third part of the complex of uh, liver tumor is, uh, first of all, it's located in a high, highly dangerous area. Mm. The first is the tumor on the surface of the liver, including the tumor on the liver, creating in the hectic tumor by uh, creating diaphragm, lung, and uh, pericardium, and uh, including near the cavity organs, especially intestinal tract, gallbladder, and uh, gastric. There are some compli severe com complications to ablate to uh, ablate tumor in the heart dome, especially injury lung, lung some as pneumothorax, homothorax, the charger bronchial fastula, and the clue for the, uh, because closer to the diaphragm, so it may be cause of the maximum pleural effusion and the hemothorax. Because of the closer to the pericardium, so it will, it's easy to cause the, uh, cause, cause the pericardial effusion. For the tumors near to the cavity organ, cavity organ, such as the gallbladder and the gastrointestinal tract. Now, there will uh, cause some uh, severe complications, such as including perforation by leakage, peritonitis, and uh, even, even dangerous to the life of the patient. The second, uh, the second uh, uh, high risk position is the tumor near inferior vulvar cava. That means close to or less than one centimeter uh, centimeter away from the inferior inferior vulva cava. The tumor of near the inferior vulva cava mean. Uh, Usually, cause some. Usually, include uh, these three uh, firms, including in the higher level of the liver as confluence of a haptic wing and in the coded lobe. The tumor, uh, the tumor near the uh, inferior, in the inferior, inferior cerebral cover, uh, or usually cause some complications, including all kinds of bile duct injuries. Now, biliary tract compression or injury may be lead to obstructive judice and the bile duct and the branches of its too low, bile leakage and the barrier tract infection. So it may be cause the portal of other ways of injury. <clears throat> now, select uh, we we want to six, six, successfully to ablate complex liver cancer. We must pay, pay a patient to the selection of ablation it can choose for complex liver cancers. <clears throat> mm, sorry. At the present, there were uh, two types of electric tools for lo uh, a local ablation. The first one is multiple, multipolar RF electric tube, uh, which is divided into two shapes of uh, two shapes. One is like a cream tree, and the other is like a umbrella. This electric tube can open the Corresponding damage according to the tumor size. Once the tumor is completely necrotic, the RF generator will automatically cut off and complete the uh, ablation. So the electrode has the following advantage intelligent, precise, and soft. But it has some defect, including relatively small ablation range and relatively low ablation efficiency. So I think this uh, RF electrode 
我小婆婆，我小婆婆发生超莫是一个 high risk area。This patient had a tumor about three centimeters in damage in the coded room. <clears throat> the tumor was a complete uh, necrotic ablation with a pendable electrodes. A pendable electrodes. Addition, addition to addition to the election, uh, selection of electrodes. Uh, the second kind of electrode, such as microwave, uh, microwave electrode, has the following advantages. The first, relatively faster than RF. And the second, relatively uniform dispersion and a large range of a single site ablation, but the sheep is like Oliver. However, there are uh, some uh, there are some shortcomings uh, of microwave uh, uh, electrode, especially relatively less controllable than expandable electrode. So I think this uh, electrode microwave is more suitable for large tumor and multiple tumors. This patient has a tumor looked in uh, at the dome and near inferior near within the cava about uh, six point two centimeters. We we use two electrodes micro uh, uh, microwave electrode uh, into the uh, uh, into the tumor by uh, ultrasound guided. Uh, parallel, and uh, the distance between the two electrodes less than two centimeters. Now this tumor, this uh, three months after MWA, this tumor was complete necrosis. Especially <clears throat> in, in addition to the selection of electrodes, uh, we must also pay attention to the a uh, reasonable selection for much guidance means. Now, at present, there are many three ways to uh, to guide ablation, it's including ultra, ultrasound guided, CT guided, and open MRI guided. For ultrasound guided, there are some uh, there are some advantages, especially real time picture and real time ablation. These two characters. Uh, in short, um, may be uh, a may be make the uh, ablation fast, accurate, and safe and complete. But there are in some insufficient, especially some nodules cannot be shown and not clearly visible or not be displayed completely. Some doctors like this. This this uh, this, kid, this patient had a, a small tumor on the right uh, on the right liver, about two centimeters, um, and uh, and the ultrasound guided. We into the IF introduced to the to the into the tumor into the tumor about two minutes. The tumor was necrosis completely. Some doctors like to use CT guided ablation for liver tumors. Some, for CT guidance technology, there are some advantages and disadvantages of this method are as follows. The first, no video dead angle. Now, the second, easy to observe electrodes. The third, monopoly or optimization of long and bound tumors. But it's, uh, it's insufficient, it's very obviously, but uh, no non real, non real time puncture and non real time ablation. This is very dangerous sometimes. For 
Imagine that in the percutaneous ablation, there are, we, we have a, a, a general evaluation. There are some advantages, such as simple operation, slight injury, most minimally invasive, a fast recovery, and a short hospital stay, easy to master, in the quality of life, reputable and low cost. But it's in few very already is well obviously obvious that means elimination of tumor ablation so for some uh, for some tumors in high risk position we we must uh, combine some means uh, to use uh, with uh, microwave microwave the second percutaneous ablation combined with other treatment techniques such as implantation, uh, external injection, TCE, surgical resection. And uh, <clears throat> percutaneous ablation may be uh, combined with adjunct uh, 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 techniques, especially artificial hydrothorax, artificial ascites, and the liquid barrier. This is a tumor um, near the colon. So we use the artificial ascites to ablate for and obtain a, a safety, uh, safely and thoroughly listless uh, result. This, this tumor, this tumor is located at the haptic dome. We use the artificial hydrothorax uh, and, uh, and obtain a very uh, satisfied result. Sometimes, uh, it's better, for example, this, this tumor is uh, looked at uh, near the colon and the gallbladder. So we combine the ablation with RDN125 that means branch therapy to have a good result. Now maybe we we can uh, combine the ablation with the hundreds of essential injection to treat some uh, tumors near the gallbladder, uh, gastric, and its intestinal tract. For some uh, large uh, large for some large uh, tumor near the uh, dome, we usually combine the TCE with uh, with uh, 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 combine ablation with the TCE to for us safely and uh, uh, sorry 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 result. But for some, but sorry. If the tumor is not suitable for imaging gallium percutaneous ablation, what should we do? So then we we command it for uh, uh, com uh, command with a surgical assisted technology, especially laparoscopic assisted tumor ablation. This mode has some advantages, especially the first, avoid the lot damage of reported organs around. The first, second, the effectiveness of ablation is greatly improved. The third, the relatively fast recovery and uh, simultaneous, simultaneous re re removal of the adjacent dragons, such as the gallbladder. This mode, there, was, there, was, there are two. Uh, two kinds of models for laparoscopic assisted ultrasound The first one, laparoscopic assisted ultrasound guided microwave ablation. This is uh, laparoscopic ultrasound. The second mode is laparoscopic assisted microwave ablation and direct vision, not ultrasound guided. Now, if it's not suitable for surgical resection, 
He much guided the Pacquinian circulation and the lack laparoscopic cystic fibrillation due to the previous history of ab abdominal surgery. Also, so we do not microwave of left tumor through laparoscotomy. For example, this this tumor uh, looked as a uh, right right liver as a right liver as a as a as a dome of li uh, right liver. So we we take the uh, laparoscopic uh, uh, ablation for this one. But microwave of, uh, of liver tumor where leprosy is rarely used because it's rarely, rarely, relatively severe trauma. And especially we can ablation, combined ablation of ablation, implantation of particles and injection of hydrocycline. So um, I think the microwave ablation of where the lepro, le leprotomy is rarely used. Now that's a full summary. Ablation is just one of the many treatment technologies for liver tumor. If it's not suitable, other therapies can be selected. It's necessary to choose a reasonable ablation method combined with other means or adopt effective auxiliary technology in the ablation of liver mass in high risk position. The second, the third, the standard, the standard, the standardized con construction of local ablation of the solid tumors is always underway. Thank you for listening.